in India's manned Gaganyaan mission, LNG will play a very, very critical a role. Critical role. Because Amazing. the crew escape system is all built here. This is a five decade long journey, which dates back to the first satellite launch vehicle that uh, Dr. Kalam was the project director of. We are building our own 15 kg satellite and we intend to put it into orbit. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of In The Spotlight. Today, we are in Coimbatore. My guest is A.T. Ramchandani. He is the head of LNT's Precision Engineering and Systems. This facility in Coimbatore is one that specializes in aerospace. Often we hear the word, this isn't rocket science. Actually, this is all about rocket science. Come with me to see the fantastic work which LNT is doing in aerospace. LNT has been ISRO's oldest and longest standing partner. True. Um, which is, and in fact, the last year, every single uh, vehicle that took off from Sri Harikota has been integrated by LNT. So, take us through the journey of um, LNT Aerospace. Sure, Sumit. So, this is a five decade long journey, which dates back to the first satellite launch vehicle that. Uh, Dr. Kalam was the project director of and we've been associated since then. A lot of the hardware that you see here in smaller versions were built in the Pawai shop and today we have a full-fledged launch vehicle shop right here. We are at the entry of the shop. The forefront is the launch vehicle and uh, we built all the solid stage motors for these launch vehicles and we've done that for the entire gamut from the SLV-3 to the ASLV to the PSLV, GSLV, GSLV Mark III, the entire gamut. And then, of course, in future, moving on to the LVM-3. Mm. And uh, even beyond will be the next generation launch vehicles. So, uh, in the launch vehicle, the solid stage motors, what we call the interstages, that connect two stages of the rocket together, various payload fairings and we'll see them as we move along. The deck panels on which the satellite sits, okay. all of this is done in these facilities. Of course, we also have a lot to do on the satellites. Mm. Uh, we also do ground systems for ISRO. So you have the satellite tracking radars. That's made by our radar business group. So that's the kind of stuff that we do. We do what I call the GSAT stations or the satellite communication station. So we do the ground stations for that. And uh, we've supplied uh, those also. Those are done out of Bangalore. Uh, then, of course, we've done a lot of equipment for building space hardware. So you see a rocket booster here. Yeah. And this is part of converting rocket science into engineering and into a product. So, so tell me when you, when you you know build a car, uh, you you test it on the road, but in aerospace you don't have that option. How do you do that? How do you ensure that this takes off and does its job? Yes. Well? So in aerospace you don't have the option to test something in exactly. a flight. It exactly. you know either has to fly right or it doesn't fly right. And uh, therefore, there is a lot of stuff that needs to be done on the ground. And uh, you need to test every piece of the hardware on the ground under simulated condition. So let's look at this piece of equipment, for example. We saw the booster, you know, when we walked in. This is the same booster which is now being pressure tested. So when the solid propellant burns, there's high pressure created inside. Mm. And then as the uh, flames exit from the motor, there's a sudden collapse of pressure. So we need to simulate that. You know, aero structures are designed with very low margin of safety mm. because you just can't carry more weight. Right. You know, every kg counts. So we need to see how this behaves when you pressurize it and depressurize it very fast. And this entire setup 
has been built to do that. Wow. So that's the test equipment in the middle. All of this is test infrastructure. So irrespective of GSLV, PSLV, no, all of them are tested. So the monitors need to be tested for in this base. Awesome. And then when you do the test, you need to log what all is going on. And that, hap- that happens in the control room. So there's a bunch of strain gauges on the equipment. Mm. And as the equipment feels the stress and strain, the signals go there and we see if those are within limits. So, Area LNT is the only private company that is approved for full system integration. That's, in other words, it would be assembling all the pieces of that right. cross it together. Yeah. Tell us something about it. So, uh, you know, we have teams at Shar, which is the Sri Harikota site where the launching takes place. And we support it so in all the integration activities. So, uh, you know, we build the hardware here. It goes for propellant filling. Then the launch vehicle gets assembled on the vehicle assembly bay. And all of that is done by our crew who are associated with that. Hmm. And what exactly is this? I mean, how do you, in simple so, terms, what do you... This is called a heat shield. Okay. And uh, we talked about the PSLV, right? Hmm. And if you look at the PSLV, at the top, it has right. this Correct. ojive shape yes. thing, yeah. which kind of protects the satellite. Okay. You know, right at the top, we have the satellite mounted on the launch vehicle. Okay. And the heat shield is a protective cone. Now, this is, again, a marvel of manufacturing. Hmm. What do you see here? This is made out of very light aluminum structure. Okay. And of course, we do make heat shields out of composites. We built one of the biggest composite structures for the GSLV. The heat shield of that is made out of composite. But this is aluminum structure. And you can see there are these grids inside. Yes. So to make it stiff and at the same time strong yet lightweight. I'm very uh, intrigued by what is that one. So let's, can you tell us about that one also? So this is a crew escape system. And what? you see here is a crew, simulated crew module. Okay. Okay. So now we are talking about the Gaganyan mission. Hmm. You know, India is going to have a manned mission. Yes. And we are going to send crew out into space. Now, in the unfortunate event that, uh, you know, something goes wrong with the vehicle, they, we should be able to jettison the crew out of the vehicle and bring them back to safety. And that's what the crew escape system does. And uh, this simulates the crew module where the crew would be seated. The entire crew ejection system Mm. is what we are building. It will be tested very soon with uh, dummies inside. So the first flights will be with robots inside. And uh, the system, the safety system will be tested here. So it's a critical safety system. So in India's Gaganyan, Mission, manned Gaganyan mission, LNG will play a very, very critical critical role. Critical role. Because the crew escape system is all built here. So, here I see a lot of young talent here. Um, What is it that you have a lot of youngsters in the place who are working? So, uh, you know, we have a young team. Our average age is around 30. Wow. And, uh, uh, you know, we, here we let people innovate. We let them apply their new thought and creativity. And there's a whole lot of products that we are doing. You asked me about innovation and, you know, the kind of new products that we are doing. These, for example, are the underwing launchers. If you've seen any aircraft, Mm. you've Look at all those lethal looking missiles under the aircraft. And those are actually held onto these okay, devices called underwing launchers. And then they hold the missile and they eject the missile. They communicate between the aircraft and the missile. Wow. And this is a complex piece of engineering. Hmm. How it manages what is called the store separation. So these are called stores and you separate the stores from the aircraft. And then let me take you to something very, very interesting. We are building our own 15 kg satellite and we intend to put it into orbit. And when we do that, 
you know, uh, controlling a satellite when it comes out of a high-speed vehicle and gets into orbit is a complex piece. You can see the satellite would probably come out of the launch vehicle spinning like this. And then you have to make it behave like this. Okay. Stable. It, it has to be stable. It has to be pointing at the earth. It has to be staring at the sun. So it requires complex control systems to do that. And that is done with the help of uh, magnetic gyros and stuff like that, which these young people design. And the control systems for that is what they build. So this is the level of innovation that we have. We run an innovation program called Accelero. And every year we invite people to give their ideas, which we, you know they believe can impact our business in the future. And then we select the best top two ideas. And in many cases, we fund them. So they not only do they you know, build an idea, but they get a chance to uh, build on their idea and to convert it into a product or into a business. Idir, what's the vision for LNT's aerospace business? So, Sumit, we are here in the precision manufacturing and systems complex. And I think the vision grows out of this complex. This is really the hub for precision engineering, precision manufacturing. And we want to take that to market. We want to take that to the aerospace industry at large. Uh, I think the opportunities are opening up. You have the space sector, which is getting privatized in a big way. Uh, already in the West, there are companies that are, uh, you know, becoming part of the space economy. And we believe India is one of the leading space sparing nations. And we at l &T can be a big part of that. So our vision is A, to be a significant player in space. And space, of course, has its own domains from the upstream where we launch satellites into space to the downstream where you extract data out of space. And we are really looking at what we can do in this spectrum as a technology-driven company, as a precision engineering-driven company, what we can do. Then, of course, there is this whole aeronautics piece. And you know that India wants to build its own fifth-generation fighter aircraft uh, you know, we are looking at building aero engines and all of that. And again, a precision manufacturing hub like this can have a big role to play in that. Under the banyan trees. Under the speaking tree. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So, you know, what advice would you give to the new generation to join this fascinating, exciting field? Space is the last frontier. and. Uh, I think the future is all about, uh, you know, it's shining and it's all about the stars. So that's what I would say to the young people that uh, dream big, uh, aim big and do big. And I think in LNT that can do, will do spirit uh, has carried us through and it will carry us forward. Fascinating. Idhar, thank you so much for your time. I am sure to meet with you. I am absolutely mesmerized. Um, this is a university of learning for the youngsters and a great place for people to make their career. Um, outstanding work being done here. And to all our viewers, LNT is playing a massive role in India's uh, Atmanebharta, India's space mission. Um, and the part of LNT which you know this is actually the part of LNT which you really don't know much about. This is that part which hopefully by watching today's episode, you will get a perspective about the high-tech precision engineering work which is happening by LNT. Thank you so much for your time and thank you, ATR, once again. Pleasure, Samuel. Pleasure to have you over. <laughs> <laughs>